Oh my god, I hate it when that does that. Okay. Hello! It's me! Welcome back to Mass Effect 3! I'm starting way earlier than usual. Uh... Which... Is fine, I hope. Um... <clears throat> The reason that I'm start starting so, so fucking early is, uh, because I feel kind of shitty, so I want to play Mass Effect. And I've been drinking this coffee that's supposed to taste like, um, caramel. But it doesn't. It actually just tastes awful. So I put my caramel coffee creamer in it. And it's, uh, it's better, at least. Better than awful, but still not good. Hmm. Actually, that, that sip was good. Maybe it's because it, it's warmer, this cup. Maybe. Or maybe I put a little bit more coffee creamer in it. <laughs> Who knows? Um... I'm exceptionally tired right now. I'm not sure why, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna play a Mass Effect to compensate, yo. Compensate, um, Mocha. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I'll do some multiplayer today. I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe we'll do some multiplayer for like a chill stream. Oh, let's see. What were we doing? Hmm, right. Did it all servers automated turret schematics? Find someone on the Citadel who can use them. That's actually something that I would like to do. So that seems like a good thing because of what happened. Novaria? Oh, shit. Almost at home. Train, go faster. Hey, Acrelia. Sorry I'm uh, starting so early. To put back together. We're reeling from the oh. implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the council. I know, I murdered his These face. Are dark days for all of us. Yeah, I, um, I started early because I, I felt like it. Uh, how you, how you doing? Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Okay. I'm probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. Mm. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Nice. Good to see the proper police work is still uh, important. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. Oh. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but That's it's fair. time consuming. That is also all fair. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Yeah. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odin and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. <laughs> yeah. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. Okay. I hear a lot of praying and crying. Yeah! They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. Okay. Back to work. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah. You too, Shepard. So, I have a question. When you establish that there is a thing in this universe called Metagel, and it basically heals all wounds, <clears throat> why would anyone ever need to go to the hospital? Unless it's like some life threatening disease. I can't go in there? Come on. This is but a yeah. problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers. 
Oh. The code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shift time. But ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Right. Keep trying. I assume that I'll find that. If I go to one of those Cerberus things. <clears throat> okay. Um, nothing over here. There's barely anyone over here now. Hmm. Wait. Nothing there. I should buy these, but I won't. Oh, that, that is talking over itself something fierce. I hate it when that happens. Let me out and go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna be sad? Duty and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? I yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. Oh. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. Wow. That's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Why? Also, why? Sadness. Am I in your way? Like, what the fuck? Um. Okay, so that does. That whole thing does mark the chapter of an. or the next arc, I guess. <gasps> Elcor! Nothing. I wanna hear the Elcor. Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to. Do we have any AI-enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and Asari worlds will keep burning. Okay, so we're getting new new Citadel stuff to do, which is cool. You're talking to that person. What's going on over here? Nothing? Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Somebody retweeted my tweet. Yeah. Hello. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Oh. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. You're welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna be clearing my throat a lot because this coffee is like doing something to me. It tastes really weird. That? Why would you care if I'm a specter? One moment, please. You're an elevator. I'm drinking water to compensate. <clears throat> oh no. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. You want me to? We could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula. We could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere Alun. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. Who? She was like a Dalatress for your people. Oh. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. To find that. <clears throat> I can do some of this uh, small stuff quickly. Welcome to Serta. Oh. Now I have a ton of medical capacity. <clears throat> there anything I can help with in here? No. There's got to be something. Aha! I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Shit! Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. Okay. I know. But I can't think of anything else. Can Is you? Am I in your way? Yeah, I was in your way. I'm sorry. Get out! It's gone. I know. But... I 
understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. Oh shit. He was stabbed with a poisoned blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. Oh no. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts. Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. I gotta save him. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. That's like really we smart. Not do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. That's also who true. Who to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients. Yeah. Yeah. But like the needs the of the many outweigh the needs and of the few. We We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. It's then true. We'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <sighs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. Yeah. For supplies. For those without credits. Yeah. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm the best. Oh. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. Yeah, you probably shouldn't call him by his real the name. were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. Oh, fuck. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. That's real bad. Given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Can I do something? I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Fuck. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. That sucks. His son Koliat. He's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say your No! Ah! Thane! Hey, Coliad. Dr. Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. Yeah, what up, dude? I don't know if you remember me. I do. I'm Coliad Krios. I came to donate blood and, well... Yeah. He asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father's a goddamn hero. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Thanks, Goliath. Commander. I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. Ah! You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. You made him I'll super embarrassed, him man. <laughs> There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> hey, Wario. <coughs> ah! Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Bane, come on. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Oh. Oh, God. You speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. That's good. Oh, come on. I brought a prayer book. Commander. Would you care to join me? Absolutely, dude. Kalahira. This one's heart is pure. 
but beset by wickedness and contention. Ah. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Call he was that. still moving. There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Oh. Why? Goodbye, Thane. You're so alone. cool. Thank you. And also, ah! Ah! <laughs> I just want him to die. He's so cool. Damn it. Why would you do that? Or went out for your uh, your boy, your boy Thane. <laughs> My boy. Glad I arrived and didn't miss it. Hey. <laughs> Damn it! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go around and, and see if I can listen to any more conversations to give me side quests. But like. Elcor? Yes! You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. So quiet, man. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. Moment of silence for him? Oh, dude, I know the exact place. I'll be back. Oh! No! Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. I'm not ready for you. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. What are you talking about? I don't about? want down. It's got me... I don't know. What are you talking okay. about? Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. Doesn't matter. It could have played out a dozen different ways. Yup. Main thing is we stopped the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. No, it Later doesn't. When you have to live with Shut yourself. up. Knowing that you acted with integrity, and it matters. You're talking about Adina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same, including you. It's true. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Look, Shepard, shut the fuck uh, up. That's another reason I'm here. No. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Oh, God. No, I mean, you need to go. I need you on the front lines, dude, but like. Mm, yeah, no, I need you on the front lines. I don't think it'd work out, Major. I see. The position with Hackett sounds like a great opportunity. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. All the best, Olenko. Good luck. See ya. <laughs> like, we're friends and all, but you gotta go over there. Oh, God, come on! I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. That's good. Odina. That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He was perfect for Cerberus. Charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? for obviously. I don't know. To not yet. Be bastards. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Shield. Because I'm cool. Who? Well, who? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. Alright, yeah. I take it you two have met. 
Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. <laughs> the end of him. But I should have begun on Omega, even stronger. Why would you elusive man okay. catch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Thanks. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hopefully. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. Oh, good! The progress on the Crucible. Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. Wow. So quickly? That's ridiculous. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Really? Hmm. That's are we any closer odd. to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. That's good. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? Yeah. You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy. That makes sense. How to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. Can I go I'm more in my friend yet? <laughs> You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. Okay. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Uh... You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Gods of Good war? Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support uh... ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Oh, thank you. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Sick. Check it out. These people can't give us like 10 fucking minutes for that dude that died. I just realized. Oh, fuck. Do you have a moment? No! A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Great! <laughs> Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. Uh. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. Cool. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Thank you. Okay. Just realized after we exited this place, your dude looks happy. Literally, like nothing happened. I mean, yeah, you got to think about it. Like the they can't just have your character be super sad all the time. So I risk who? Yeah. I know, right? Medina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Also that, yeah. Okay, I know exactly where to I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Not yet! <laughs> Just wait. I uh uh this here. Right here. Oh, Garrus. Fuck. You wait a second, dude. I'll come back and talk to you. Now, we have a moment of silence for our fallen friend, because this is where he was, so please, pay your respects. Thank you. <laughs> But like, really, come on. He died. It's so sad. <sighs> All right. Like that, I gotta say, it really actually did impact me a bit because he's super cool. And like, I've known him. I, I got to know him. I hung out with him. I talked to him. He had perfect memory. I got to relive some of his memories with him. Like, fuck, dude. Ah. Respect successfully paid. Exactly. Hey, Garrus. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. I know, right? And you almost had to put down a friend. Yeah. Got a little tense there. 
If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Yes. If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. Absolutely. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. <laughs> Still, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. I know, right? Losing one was enough. It's true. Thanks, dude. I mean, to be fair, it is, it is, you know, bigger than one person, so... I would not, you know, afford not shooting somebody. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. That's fair. Mass relay traffic reports. Widow is 95% increase. Why? That's interesting. Audio recording from Councillor Gajur's Senate office. Secretary Phillips. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. Councilor Gajir. What about the military? They left an hour ago, they said. They said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here? This is a... Oh, sorry. Here. This is a passkey, sir? And an inventory? Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the city's senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles, senate members' stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. See, that's, that's a good counselor right there. Perhaps we can talk later. Oh, okay, you don't? Okay. Before I go back to... Greetings, Commander. Hey, how's it going, Glyph? Before I go back to um, Normandy, I want to talk to people. Would have been nice to work with Caden again, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Hey, man. Shut up. Would have been nice to work with Caden oh, okay. again, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. It was my choice, and I said no. All right. Uh... <laughs> Yes. Chalk was, really. Commander, I found something you need to see. Okay. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. Okay. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. That would be nice, but... Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the crucible. Yeah. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully. But it could be worth investigating. That makes sense. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. How? I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. Mm -hmm. You found them? I believe so, yes. Cool. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Thanks. You're you're also welcome. Oh boy, not a lot of shit. Game night! Samantha Trainer. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time in between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games, Trainer. What? Okay. Citadel interview, your can cabin? The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attacks on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Odina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. Fair enough. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Meet me at the bar. Jack. Hey, the students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. Okay. From the Lions and News Network Information Partners. Elysium. An evacuation sh shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied Reaper colony of Elysium. Was reported uh, saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. Oh, nice. 
The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery. Oh. Meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Oh. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Aresh Agdashlu, ooh, engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdashlu, that's a, it's a weird name, had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragya as a child. Oh. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reapers, uh, Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, Providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Oh, that's cool. Good job, dude. Derlesh Mole. Commander Shepard. Oh, it's from Victus. Uh, Cerberus just ambushed a Tarian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. And the only other person who knew the cruiser's uh, position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. Uh, oh, excuse me, gross. Um... My, uh, I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are t uh, tightly intertwined. And now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleet uh, is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the Spectre office on the Citadel. Okay, thank you. Got a minute. Vega? Oh, no. Just wondering if you got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. Okay. Kai Lang's dossier. Thank you. As promised, here's what we have on him. Name, Lang Kai. I mean, what? Uh, Date of Systems Alliance Military Enlistment, November 14th, 2172. Oh, he was Alliance. 16 credentials faked. Oh my god. Uh, 2172 Terminus Systems Patrol and Reconnaissance. 2173 Exodus Cluster Patrol and Reconnaissance. Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record. Okay. Why would you take. Uh, 2174 Raid of Ention. Recommended for Systems Alliance Medal of Valor. New priority Citadel shore leave last before point of no return. Wait. Oh, shit. There's a point of no return soon? Fuck. Thank you. Uh... Kite's Nest. Tactical reconnaissance. Accepted into Interplanetary Combative Academy. Received N7 designation from Interplanetary, Interplanetary Compa Combatives Academy. I can't fucking speak. Not soon? Oh, okay. Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree mur murder. Mur mur murder. I mean, point of no return endgame. Before endgame. Oh, okay. When is that? Uh, Cerberus activities. Intel on Kai Lang's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. What is known is that the elusive men arranged for Lang's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the next 10 years. Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent. Working as an infiltrator and assassin, his cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus Phantom Class implants. Phantoms are fucking shit, so who cares? Citadel Shore leave. Oh, this. Oh, okay. Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy to dry dock on the Citadel for a much uh, needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. An army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all set. You're all on shore leave. That's an order. We need everybody at their best. One more thing. Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing that. Not yet. Shore leave? Fuck you. Not yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Shore leave. No. Okay, so, uh, Chuck was one of to talk to me. For some reason. Gellix? Chakwa. Chakwa! May I speak with you, Commander? Yeah, what up? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. Okay. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. Mm -hmm. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. 
Okay. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I won't ask why me, obviously. Sure. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Okay. Thank you, Commander. Yep. With access to their equipment oh. and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Nice. That's cool. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, g give me a moment. Uh, okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry if I'm like... How are you, by the way? <laughs> well, thank you for asking. I'm doing okay. My body feels like shit for some reason. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm doing okay. Thanks. How you How you guys doing? How's everything? I haven't asked that yet. How's How's it going? Sorry if I'm like, uh, off the walls bouncing, because like, I don't know why, but this coffee has made me extremely. Not full of energy because I feel like tired and shit, but it's making me feel twitchy, I guess. Not like in a good way though, which is weird, but hey, anyway. That's for Chuck was, excuse me, I gotta move my microphone. Ooh. Why did my, what? whoa, what's happening in my bit rate? That was weird. We're good now. Should have chosen tea instead. Yeah, probably. Well, I wanted to try this because we got some new coffee. And it's uh, it's supposed to be caramel tasting. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I've had to put in my caramel coffee creamer. Uh, because otherwise it just tastes awful. Yeah. Might as well get all this other stuff out of the way too. You guys have anything to say over here? Uh. Shepard. Hello. Shepard. Cool. Need anything, Commander? Nope. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. Make my rounds. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Excuse you? Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Mm-hmm. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. I will do that. Hey, traffic. Aha! The fuck are you looking at? Commander. Hello. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. What are you talking about? How so? For a long time, I was only among Protheans. I must get used to other species. That makes sense. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Makes sense. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. Mm. The strong flourished. The weak perished. Mm. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. I mean... That makes sense in certain respects. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. 
they can become a resource of their own. That makes sense. Oh. If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. <laughs> it's true. So, use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Also true. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Also true. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You? What? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. Yeah. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. Mm. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. I mean, yeah. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Now to go talk to Vega, because he needs to talk to me. The last job on Tachanka was intense. It's pretty neat. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. Mm -hmm. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty bad time. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Sir. Sure. Dog first. Excuse me. Dog doesn't have any new interactions. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna throw up. Hey, Ugh. Commander. Hey. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. Mm. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't oh. they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but. Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Well, though, yeah, I know, right? Hey. Hey. You said you wanted to talk. What do you. Okay. I assume it's in purgatory that you actually want to talk and not fucking here. It's whatever. All right, let's do a let's do a interview. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I feel like shit. Oh my god. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Eh. Would you like to come up? What do we got? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? What the fuck are we talking about? Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface. Oh, Not this? Not as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. This comes and first? I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. <laughs> your real world expertise will give you an edge. Oh, fuck me. I'm terrible at chess. Damn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. Yeah. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. Oh, no. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... <laughs> 
understand the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. Oh. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. I see you can have some romantic chemistry with her. That's interesting. Um, but I don't feel like it. Hey, now I have a chessboard. Okay. With real pieces. And also holographic pieces. What the fuck? That's terrible. Just have a bunch Trigger, of real pieces. Can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. That didn't sound like it was ready over for a chat, Commander? Eh. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. Mm -hmm. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Isn't that the chessboard from Oleg Petrovsky from Omega DLC? Oh yeah, no, you're right. That's not even... okay. Um... I mean... Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But why take it? has lost its counselor. Fuck that guy. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. Mm -hmm. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? This interview is over. No, I mean, I've I've had a bad rapport with reporters, so you might want to not ask me these kinds of questions. I might be liable to punch you in the face. <laughs> Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Hell yeah. There you go. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Great. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Ugh. Thanks for your time, Commander. What? This is Diana oh. Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. Dude, you don't look like you care at all. Commander, you keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Um. What? Why are there so many romantic interests? Also, where is my fucking. Why is my bitrate dying? Thank you. Come back to me. What? <laughs> okay. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Girl. Oh. One oh third Marine Division updated. I must have inspired them. Oh my God, James as well. Fuck me. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. What? Hey man, how's it going? Fine. Good, James. You? Good, good. Okay. What are you doing? Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. No. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Shepard. Yeah, dick. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. Oh, no. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Yeah, you should stop saying loco. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? Uh, it was a no-brainer because I didn't have control over my character. I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. Yeah, that. It doesn't get better than N7. I guess. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Your... Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. Neat. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Mm. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Okay. Last time I had a command, 
I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. <laughs> I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Tell me exactly what happened so that you can relive every excruciating detail. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? Everything. We were out on patrol checking on some strange readings, and the collectors <laughs> hit. Oh, yeah. They hit the colony first. Oh. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. Oh. So you were in charge. Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. Wait, what? I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. I mean... You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. Yeah. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone, right? Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. I guess. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed. Either themselves or their soldiers at some hmm. point. So you think I should accept? That's up to you. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Okay. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. That, mm, that was weird. Carnage! Neat. Anyone else wanna come up here and talk to me? Hey, you know how you had like a picture of who you like romanced? Or my picture of Tali? Is it near the bed? I wonder. Okay. God, I feel like shit, dude. <laughs> I drank the last of that cup of coffee and it just, it does, I don't like it. Admiral Anderson. Okay. Commander. Hi. That was a weird transition there. Doesn't look good when you go through this way. I want to check this as well. The Citadel Defense Force. I still need to go talk to somebody. Okay. Uh, increase of refugees in Citadel to bleed resources that might have otherwise gone to defense systems and personnel. Oh, shit. Civilians volunteering at emergency clinics help to save lives. That's good. Warning people on the Citadel to prepare for war has improved civilian readiness. That's good. Commander Shepard restored duty pay to spouses and families of active service people, improving morale. That's great. A con artist exploiting refugees was thrown off the Citadel. Security improved on the docks as a result. That's great. Housing was found for students from Grissom Academy. Uh, they have been helping. That's good. Schematics of advanced biotic amplifiers from Chrism Academy increase the endurance of Asari under fire. That's good. Anything else? No. Alliance. What happened to you? Biotic students, how do you know that? Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about the attempt to take over Citadel uh, improved the morale. Hey! Oh, there's more? Ooh. Oh yeah, the Zeus Hope colonists. Yeah! That's right. And Caden, good. Uh, needs a biotic unit. That's good. See, I knew it would do something useful for them. The Asari 6th Fleet and the Asari 2nd Fleet are coming. That's good. Valerians! STG! New with the Tarians. Sixth Fleet? Cool. 
Oh god, excuse me. Oh. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You wanted me to. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Cool. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. What are you doing? It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. Great! When they heard that you managed to get the Turians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Wait, what? Faith. Oh. That any of us will live to see another day. Sick. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Oh. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Okay. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Cool. I know. I think I know what's causing my. No, I don't. I closed that. What the fuck is causing my bitrate to drop so bad? I don't fucking know. Okay. Shepherd's fan club, a lot of Conrad Verners. Oh no. <laughs> uh Fish in a barrel. No, that's bad. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. As it should. Well, the crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. Maybe. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. What? The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Oh, I know that. Don't underestimate him. Noted. He looks like, then uh... Get back nope. to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. Yeah. That is enough. Kai Lang looks like, uh, Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Revengeance, or whatever it's called. Which is a fucking fantastically, uh, silly game that I really want to play at some point. I have it. I played, like, a few minutes of it. Commander Shepard. But I've seen most of it, so. That's a contender. Anything else? Commander. Okay. Whoa. Commander. Okay, you're okay. You know who I didn't talk to? Joker and Edie. I'm gonna talk to them now. Then I'll go back to the Citadel. I might just stay home today. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's like... That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Yeah. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Yeah. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. That's so anyway, hipster. Nice job. I hope Major Alenko is happy with his new post. It's wartime, Joker. We all go where we're ordered to. Understood. Just for the record, though. Don't get up, dude. Don't don't get up, dude. Oh. What's that? Somebody giving you the respect you deserve, Commander. Oh fuck. Thanks. Thank you, Joker. You didn't have to get up for that. That was actually rather, like, it was really, wow. I don't have words. Okay. Hey, Edie. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tchunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior Wait, one. Wait, it was destroyed? Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. <laughs> That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. Uh oh. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. Yeah. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. Oh. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. Mm -hmm. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? <laughs> Here we go again. 
What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. True. But the purpose of organic life...